What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we have possibly one of the weirdest looking firearms I have ever seen. The Calico M950. This is a roller delayed blowback 9mm pistol and the Calico series of firearms have been in a ton of TV shows and movies. Mostly in the 80s and 90s. And when you look at this thing, you can see why. It just looks like an 80s Hollywood gun. At first glance, it is obviously weird as hell looking, and it looks like it's straight out of an 80s sci-fi film. But it's actually kind of interesting. So it uses a helical magazine that sits on top of the firearm. No, that weird bulbous looking feature is not a compressed air tank or a futuristic plasma charge. It is the 9mm magazine. Ejection port is on the bottom, which is good for ambidextrous use. This one does not have a buttstock, obviously because it is a pistol, but they do make calico rifles as well. Or at least they did at one time and i have seen these things on the internet throughout the years but until now i've never had my hands on one in real life so let's try it all right first shots from the calico we got about 25 rounds in it and the weapon's charged let's try this goofy little sucker feels good like nine millimeter pistols usually do That's cool. Well, it actually feels very good. Most 9mm pistols do, especially when they have a little bit of weight to them. And I would say using the forend is probably the most stable way to shoot it. But I actually prefer just a regular thumbs forward grip like you would use on a handgun. To me, that's the most comfortable. But, believe it or not, I actually like this thing. Let's see if we can hit anything with it. Hey guys, before we go any further, I wanna tell you all about Infinity Targets from Infinite Defense, who is now a supporter of the channel. And I have one of these targets on the way, but it's not here yet, so I'll just go ahead and tell you, these targets are sweet. So Infinity Targets are a self-healing rubber target that can take up to 110 rounds per square inch. And they actually guarantee it will take 110 shots of 5.56 per square inch and still last. When you factor in the size of the target, that's a lot of use that you can get out of these things. The way these targets work is when the projectile passes through, paint is removed, giving you a highly visible hit marker. And since the target instantly self heals, all you have to do is hit it with some spray paint and you have a fresh target. Since the rounds just go right through, there is no ricochet, making these 100% safe for close quarters use and self-defense training. The targets fit on most common stands are American made, completely weatherproof, and five times lighter than steel. So easy storage and transportation. So go check them out at infinitytargets.com. And again, thank you Infinity Targets for supporting the channel and sponsoring today's video. All right, let's see if we can hit anything with it. I do not know if the sights are on target. The front sight is kind of like an M16 post, that triangular shape. And then the rear sight is on top of the magazine. And the bolt release is over here. By the way, I don't think you can show magazine removal on YouTube, as crazy as that sounds. So if you see any random jump cuts, you know why. Let's see if we can hit the targets. Nope. Okay, it's shooting like six inches to the left or to the right. I'm gonna try my thumbs forward grip. I think it is far easier to shoot like a regular handgun than it is with two hands. That was our last round. <laughs> you would think by looking at this thing that using the forend would stabilize it far better, but I actually get less recoil when I just shoot it like a handgun. Kind of interesting.
Well, we have been doing a lot of homemade body armor tests lately, and we actually have a few more coming up that were sent by you guys. So stay tuned for that. But I wanna see if one ream of computer paper can stop a nine millimeter. If it can, this might be the cheapest and easiest to acquire homemade body armor of all time. Let's find out. I feel like I've done this before, but I don't remember what the results are with a nine millimeter. And obviously if you were to use paper as body armor, it can take probably one or two rounds and then you better get the heck out of there because it's not gonna hold up. Let's see if it stops it. I think it went right through. <laughs> So I heard that bullet hit the steel target and I thought I missed. And then I looked more closely and I saw the bullet hole. So not only did it go through, it also hit the steel target. That's what we call a twofer. There is our nine millimeter entrance hole right there. If I flip it over, you can see that giant exit hole on the back. And then I believe it continued and hit the red steel target. So there's your answer. A single ream of computer paper is not sufficient as nine millimeter body armor. I was hoping it would be. Let's go ahead and do a quick overview of the Calico M950. I would still say this is definitely one of the weirdest looking pistols I have ever seen. But after shooting this thing, I actually like it. So again, it is a roller delayed blowback pistol. It has a six inch barrel and this is a nine millimeter, but they do have other calibers like 22 and rifle versions of it as well. Very simple operation. You have the charging handle right there on the side, safety lever in front of the trigger guard and then the bolt release right there on the other side. And that's pretty much all it has as far as controls. But in my opinion, the magazine is what makes these Calicos so unique and boy, does it make the gun look goofy? The Calico uses what is called a helical magazine. It is proprietary to the firearm. It's also pretty dang cool how it works. I'll try to put a diagram or something up on the screen so you can see. But when you load it, the ammo spirals around kind of like a drum mag, but it also goes front to back. So you load it from the top, just like you do any other magazine. And then on the back, there's this little spinny crank. You give that a few rotations and that puts spring pressure on the rounds so that they feed properly. If you wanna release that spring pressure, you hit the button on the back and it releases. Pretty neat. That's pretty much it. Again, some of you guys may be familiar with these, some of you may not. I had only really seen them on the internet or in movies up until very recently, and it is absolutely one of the goofiest looking little firearms I've ever seen. But so far, it has been 100% reliable. No complaints from me other than the way it looks, of course. Well, it just wouldn't be a proper video if we didn't destroy some produce with this thing. I have three giant watermelons on the table down there, and for this, we're gonna try some hollow points. The nine millimeter might not be big enough to do serious damage, but that's why we have extra bullets. Not quite powerful enough. Well, it took more than one round to completely destroy him, but not bad. Right, guys that's gonna do it for the calico m950 nine millimeter pistol absolutely one of the weirdest looking firearms i've ever seen but i'm glad i tried it because throughout this video i actually kind of became a fan of this thing which i didn't expect let me know what you think down in the comments below as always i would be glad to hear from you guys if you've ever tried a calico of any variety let me know what your experience was down there as well. If you want to pick up some merch, link will be in the description box below. Please go check it out. And if you like the video, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.